So, Miguel, tell me a little bit about yourself. So, what do you do now, Miguel? I work for Home Depot. Okay, what do you yeah. do there? Uh, I'm actually a supervisor for the garden department. Great, mm -hmm. okay, great. So, how do you like it? That's okay. You yeah. know, I've been doing it for so long now that, you know, yeah. I got used to it. it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I've been with the company for over 20 what years. What are some of the things you like about it? Uh, the challenge, you know, yeah. I like the challenge every day is something new, you know, customers obviously dealing with them, Great. but, uh, you know, yeah. it's, it's, good. it's, it's a good customer company. service. All yeah. That is important. Yeah, good. absolutely. That's okay. important. What are some of the things you don't like about it? The pay. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like if I got paid a little bit more, it'd probably be a lot better. Good. Good. So making yeah. more money is important to you. Yeah, Great. absolutely. How about, how about your life? You know, what are some of the things that you've done in your life? What are what's like some of your most admired, you know, kind of you know, be modest and tell me a little um, bit about Well, you know what? I, I think coming here from another country and being able to adapt to the country and, you know, start a family and uh, being able to, you know, just follow that pursuit of the American dream, I think that's one thing that I've always prided myself of, you know, right. and so that's that's really one of the things that I've accomplished so Great. far that I think right. it's it's pretty good. So you said about making more money. Do you have a, a number? Like, you know, if, if you had the, the opportunity to to create how much you could make and do you have a number you'd like to make if i can make over a hundred thousand yeah. i'll be nice yeah okay. right now right. i'm about 60 70 so do you have a chance to, to do that at your job make 100? uh it's hard it's hard yeah it's hard to accomplish that yeah huh. at a, a job politics yeah. and things like that a lot of politics a lot of mm -hmm. uh you know uh management you know uh, situations so it's mm -hmm. it's it's hard to make six figures at home depot Great. Mm -hmm. You said you came from another country. What? What? Where did you come from? I moved from Venezuela. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. So the yeah. come for the American dream, huh? Yes, sir. Great. So yeah, you know, the American dream is you know having a business and and you know going in business for yourself. Is that something okay. interesting? Sure. Great. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me show you a little bit about what we do. Okay. First of all, um, this is our company is called Primerica. Have you ever okay. heard of Primerica? No, no, never have. Okay. Well, probably because our company doesn't advertise. Is, okay. is one thing. Is uh, you know. We're uh, the largest financial services sales force in the United States and Canada. Okay. Uh, so we're the largest sales force in North America. Our company's been in business since 1977, so so we have a, a great track record of, of our company. Okay. We're actually traded on the New York Stock Exchange, you know, so we're publicly traded. So that's, you know, to us, that's a really big thing when you're publicly traded. It's like a prestigious yeah. thing. Yeah, on Home Depot is also in the stock market, yeah. so. Good, right? So you know yeah. a little, a little bit, about bit about stocks, yeah. This is when we actually went public, you know, uh, this is this is the front of the New York Stock Exchange right here when we went public that day and, you know, it was a, a big banner, about 100 foot banner and and uh, we were on the trading floor and got to ring the bell and so it was, it was okay. a, a, a big thing. Our wow. Went public there. This is our home office. Our home office is based just outside of Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, we have an, an incredible, incredible home office that's kind of specifically tailor-made for our sales force and customer service for our company. We have about 2,000 uh, employees in our company that track our business and, and run our company and, and support the sales force. And so it's really, really incredible. So it's kind of like, you know, when you're in business for yourself but not by yourself when okay. you have this kind of support. Yeah, it's pretty big. We also have the largest um, corporate television network. You know, in our home office, we have about a 500-seat uh, st uh, auditorium studio and um, and a television studio that broadcasts into our offices every Monday morning. So it's really, uh, you know, in direct communication with the CEO okay. of our company. And so it's really wow. pretty amazing. Yeah. Okay, so let me show you a little bit about, you know, kind of, you know, who we are and what we do. Um, one uniqueness about Primerica is, um, you know, our mission is our mission is our company is, uh, helps families earn more income, become properly protected, debt-free, and financially independent. Okay. And I think you'd agree that that's, you know, pretty important for anybody. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Especially family. nowadays, yeah. Yeah. Any family's trying to accomplish that. Right. Okay, what we do is we teach people how money works so they can have, you know, more information about making financial decisions financially. Okay. So, you know, that's one of the things that we see is most people just don't have the financial education to, right. to make proper decisions. And we offer a variety of products to help people achieve their financial goals. So you okay. can see, um, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the importance of the things that we do. These are some of our strategic partners. Okay. Um, you know, here's Primerica. We're the, we're the distribution. We're the sales force and the hub of everything. Okay. But, you know, we deal, we, we market financial products for a whole broad range of companies like, you know, companies you've probably heard of like MetLife and AIG, American International Group, uh, Lincoln Financial, uh, Voya, AXA. 
Uh, we, big companies. We deal with some mm -hmm. of the biggest mutual fund companies like American Funds and Invesco and Franklin Templeton. And, and we deal in all these different areas, like we deal with mutual funds and legal protection and long-term care. We do auto and homeowners insurance. We do debt programs to help people get out of debt, health insurance, life wow, insurance, okay. 401ks, annuities. and, and so A lot of stuff. You can see you know, a whole yeah. broad range of areas. Right? Yeah. So, and again, Primerica is the distribution and marketing of all that. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah. Okay. So big. here's kind of a, uh, in a nutshell, in a nutshell, what we do. And uh, this, is a, this, this is a client before doing business with us. Okay. And then what we actually did for them. Okay. okay. So if you look at uh, the areas, this is uh, a family, two kids. Um, that in as far as their debt area, they had a hundred sixty-five thousand dollar mortgage. Okay. They were in their house six years. They had thirteen thousand dollars of credit card debt, making minimum payments. You know, when you make the minimum payment on a credit card, it takes, oh, it takes a long time. Right. Yeah, it's hard. So, um, kind of in that example, what we did is we got them out of debt twenty years sooner, saved them fifty-six thousand dollars of interest without any out-of-pocket cost. Okay, wow. So you can see it, an, a big improvement. Yeah. Everybody's trying to get out of debt. Everybody yeah. wants to get ahead. You agree? Yeah. <clears throat> In the area of life insurance, you know, having a family, life insurance is an important thing. This family had $150,000 of coverage on each of them. Uh, they were paying $285 a month. And this is what's called cash value life insurance. Like, do okay. you have life insurance, Miguel? Uh, I think I have it through work. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Well, this is the type, this cash value type, this is the type that builds up savings, okay? Okay. And these kind of policies, it's it's like you have life insurance coverage. Okay, I think I've heard you, about that. Okay, mm -hmm. and you build up part of the money goes to savings, and you're going to have, you know, uh, you know, money at retirement. Okay. Well, it sounds good, and the philosophy of it's good, but what people don't understand is the, the gotchas. Okay? Got it, okay. And if you look at the savings part of it over here, what happens is, number one, is usually the first one to four years in policies like this, no money goes to savings, no money whatsoever. So this person's paying two eighty five a month. Okay, that's over three thousand dollars a year. Yeah, and three four years later, they have nothing that goes in their savings. Wow, all that money goes to commissions and administrative costs. Oh wow. So so that's not good. So paying in like ten or twelve thousand dollars and having no money in your account, it's not very good, is it? Right. No. Okay. Number two is, have you ever heard of people borrowing against their policies? Um, I know they borrow against 401ks, but not yeah. too familiar with borrowing the okay. policies. On life insurance, as you build up money down the road, if you need money out, you can borrow money out okay. against your policies. Okay. Okay. But they're going to charge you like about 6 to 8% interest. Oh, wow. And whose money are you borrowing? Your own money? Your own money. Wow. So is it good to have to borrow your own money? No. No. Not at all. Number three, what's worse than that, is all the cash that builds up inside the policy. Maybe if a person had, in this case, at 65, they're going to have 124000 Okay. Well, maybe they had sixty or seventy or 80000 built up in cash in their policy. Okay. If, if God forbid, if something happened to John, the company, the company keeps all the cash that's in his policy wow. and only pays his wife and family the face amount. Wow. So there's 150000 so if he had 60000 in his account and dies, they lose it. The company keeps that money and only pays his family 150000 Wow. So that doesn't make sense. So if, if you were like being explained this and these were the rules, first one to four years, no money. You have to borrow your own money out if you want it. And mm -hmm. if you die, you lose all the money. Would you put money in an account like that? Not at all. No. No. Well, in these kind of policies, there's... Seven, eight, ten million of these sold every year. Wow. What we do is we show people how to get their money back. Okay. And what we do is we set them up in what's called term life. Term life is straight coverage. With term life, there's no savings. Okay. So there's no savings in the policy. We give this person 400000 on each of them, 10 on each of the kids. And with term, because there's no savings, it's only 126 a month. Okay. So we saved them. One hundred and fifty-nine a month. Yeah, That's almost two thousand dollars a year. We save them. Wow. So now Amazing. they have, they have almost tripled the coverage, mm -hmm. and we saved them almost two thousand a year. Wow. Now they can take that money and they can invest it separately. And we'll talk about mutual funds in, in a second. Okay. But that's what we do. Also, they had no will. 
What we do is we set up a will and access to a full service law firm because okay. when you have kids and a family, it's very important to have a will yeah. uh, because tragedy can happen and then you got probate and you got ta attorneys and fees and stuff that, that takes place. Well, we set them up with our legal protection for $25 a month. Okay. Also, we do auto and homeowners insurance with like the, about the top 20 brands in the industry, all A-plus rated companies. They were paying two forty three a month. We saved them $65 a month. Okay. Okay, and you say it's $65 a month, not a big deal. But again, 65 That's a month a long way. in 20 years, if you average 9% on your money, which we'll talk about mutual funds, they would have $43,000 in a college fund Definitely down the road 20 years. School. Yeah, okay? that's good. A little 65 bucks a month could grow into something. Wow. Some. Also, they had an IRA. They had, a, they had an individual retirement account. You're familiar with IRAs? Uh, not too much. I have a 401k at work. Okay. Well, yeah. an IRA is an individual account. Okay. okay? It's Outside like your 401k, work. Okay. You know, but it's individual. Okay. So they happen to have it at the bank. At the bank, they had $20,000 in their account. Okay. They were getting 1.5% interest. Wow. They were putting in $100 a month on top of the 20000 And at age 65, they were going to have $89,000 at retirement. That's not enough. Not enough. No. The challenge is they're only getting 1.5%. See. We showed them how to take this twenty thousand, how to roll that money over into mutual funds in an IRA. Okay. So we, we rolled over the twenty thousand dollars in an IRA in mutual funds. Okay. Now because of that, they're going to get a much better return. Okay. So plus we took the one hundred and fifty nine dollars that they were paying on their life insurance. Okay. And we took the hundred dollars that they were already putting into their IRA. Right. And now that's two hundred and fifty nine dollars. $259 averaging a 9% return, which is a good average rate of return of mutual funds, they would have $1.2 million at age 65 wow. versus 89000 Yeah. Big difference? A big difference. Okay. Much better. So if you look at this, if this was A, and let's say, th let's say this was you and you had this right here, and we got you out of debt faster, tripled your coverage, saved you almost two grand a year. Uh, set up your will, mm -hmm. college fund for your kids, and made a difference of over a million dollars at retirement, and this was B, would you switch from A to B? Oh, yes. Pretty obvious. Today, yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, that's from a client standpoint. From a business standpoint, is there a need for that? Big need for Absolutely. what we do, right? Absolutely, yes. Well, if you could show 10 families, if you showed what I showed you to 10 families, how many would switch from A to B? If it works just like that, all of them. You think, right? Yeah. Okay, well, let's be real conservative, okay? So you said you'd like to make more money. Right. Okay? Well, think about this. If you showed you, if, if you showed 10 families what I just showed you right here, mm -hmm. and let's just say only four out of the 10 did business with you, would that be pretty conservative? Yeah. Okay. Well, if four out of 10 did business with you, only four of them did the life insurance, Two of them had IRAs, and we rolled over the IRA like that 20000 example. One of them did the debt program, one did auto and home, and one did their will and legal protection. Okay. If that's what you did right there, and you're part-time, and after about 60, 90 days of me training you and showing mm -hmm. you how to do this, if I showed you and coached you on how to do this, and you did that right there, you showed 10 families, and that's all the business that you did with them, you would make $3,700. Wow. If you did that right there. Part-time. Part-time. So if you showed 10 families in a month, part-time, and that's what you did, you'd make $3,700. Wow, that's pretty big. Okay. That's pretty awesome. So not just like anything else. You start getting good at this. You start really knowing what you're doing. In our business, just like real estate, you would move up into higher percentages. Okay. okay? As you move up, for example, this is our top part-time position. It's called regional leader. Okay. Now, this is optional part-time. A lot of people, I went full-time at this position right here. Okay. If you did the same amount of business because you're at a higher contract, you'd make 5000 instead of 3700 Okay. But now you have the opportunity to train a couple people. If, if you had two people, like, like we're district leaders on this example, if you had two and they just helped three families each for a total of six, you would make, you'd be paid $1,900 on the business that they did. 
just like a broker in real estate. A broker trains an agent, and if an agent, in this case, is at a 50% contract, and this regional leader is at a 70% contract, you get 20%. Okay. So if this is what they did, the 20% would be about almost $2,000. Okay. You'd make $5,000 on what you did, almost two on what they did, that's almost $7,000. Wow. So you could see you could start really doing, right. doing well. And that's what I did. When it, that, that's when I went, made a career change and went into this full time. Okay. A regional vice president is like a broker, is like the broker example. Okay. A regional vice president doing the same amount of business as the others, only four clients, is paid $7,700 okay. on, that, on that amount of business. Uh, also, if they had two regional leaders like this right here, and these two regional leaders probably had a couple district leaders. Okay. Between those two teams, they do 10 clients. Okay. And the business that comes out of them, 10 clients, you'd be paid on, on the percentage of business that they do, which would be a, over $6,000. Plus, you get a production bonus. We get bonuses as regional vice presidents. That would be $2,800. Plus, what you personally did, that's $17,000. Wow. And it just continues. Okay. And so looking at one thing is, looking at our company, we have over 3,000 people in our company that earn over $100,000 a year. Oh, wow. Okay? That's a lot. Over 3,000. That's more than any other company in the United States. Really? Wow. Okay. Also, we have almost 100 people now that are earning over a million dollars a year. Wow. So these are the, some, of the, some of our local successes just from our team. Okay. From, so here's uh, Max and Vanessa Slorsmill. Uh She was in banking making 40000 Today they make over 150000 Here's uh, Gus and Leah Heredia. Uh, they were, he was an electrician making 40000 now makes over two fifty. Wow. And you look at all these different examples, these 3,000 plus people, they come from all walks of life. So teachers and, and you know, retail and housewives and secretaries and accountants and attorneys like here's for example just in construction like I was in okay. we have 124 people that used to be in construction now they're making over 100 grand a year wow so like pretty pretty incredible yeah right? so a proven track record from all walks of life okay pretty impressive yeah okay. pretty awesome so here's an example so what would interest you more starting your own part-time business a complimentary financial game plan like what I just showed you mm -hmm. or both 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 yeah okay. Well, then what we would do is I would, I would set up an appointment with you and your wife. Okay. And so if you think about this, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, how would you rate your desire to become properly protected, debt-free, and financially independent? A 10. 10, right? Yeah. Well, what I could do is uh, i get some more information okay. together, meet with you and your wife. Okay. I could do that this evening, or would tomorrow be better? Tomorrow's probably better. Tomorrow? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I could do it like at 6 in the evening, the okay. time you get off work. Uh, I usually go home about 4.30. Oh, 4.30? Yeah. So would 6 be good or a little bit later, about 8 be better? Uh, 6 is fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think my wife gets home about 5 o'clock. So. Okay, great. Yeah. Then 6 o'clock tomorrow. Okay. Hey, just before you go, if you want more relaxing stuff, you might know that I wrote a book, Seven Habits of Common Happy People, and now I even made an audiobook version. It's the best habits that work for me for being more calm, more at peace, and I think you're gonna like it too. So you can find it for free as a gift at findcom.com/book. Findcom.com/book.